So we've got ourselves a live Team of the Season upgrade. It unlocks within 20 days and it expires in 27. So I would say make sure that you are picking your right one. We've got until Friday at the very minimum to get a live Team of the Season anyway and the one that you want. But the question is which ones actually fit into this? So if we have a look at what we've got so far, I believe every one of the kind of lower ones fits. So let's have a look and see which ones don't fit because I can imagine the, the likes of Doku is, is, is not going to. That, that's going to be pretty standard, to be honest. So Modric fits. So you could actually go with what? what? I don't even know what the upgrade is, in fact. So you get a one upgrade, long ball pass, one pass and one defending, one physical, two passing, two dribbling, two defending, two physical. So it is predominantly more onto the defensive slash midfield route, long ball pass, and then you get a press proven. So, I mean, it's, it's I would definitely be looking at more of a defensive player, if anything. So if we was to look, say for instance, Loftus Cheek, what do we actually get? So he goes up, okay, 94, 95, 87, 93. Plus he gets the double play styles as well. I mean, it's definitely not the worst thing in the world. So let's go ahead and look and see what the live we've got then. Because it'll be interesting to know who doesn't fit this. Like I say, Doku's going to be one because Pace, he's got more than that. Bruno fits. Santos fits as well. Havertz, Havertz doesn't. Okay, that's a bit interesting. That would have been a really nice one to actually get. Romero, don't get no... We, we don't get no pace on this, do we? I don't think. Then we've got Kudus definitely doesn't fit. So wingers pretty much are out the question here. Same as Klaus. Okay, fair enough. Ramirez doesn't. The new Vasquez can go in. It goes a 92. So if you're looking to improve your team, make sure you're heading over to lootbar.gg. They are the best and most reliable coin service you can find. Also with the best 24-hour manual customer service that you physically cannot find anywhere else. But before finishing on lootbar.gg, make sure you are using the code JT11, 8% off your first ever transaction, and then 5% off every time after that. Once you've gone through the payment, you'll be able to get your coins within the next 24 hours, absolutely guaranteed. Also with the code, you'll be able to get 5% more coins on every transaction. Make sure you do click the link either in the description or down in the comment section below. I'm interested just to see who's the favorites in this then. So if we go over to Footwiz, whether we've got the full Sabozlai, Bruno and Loftus Cheek. So let's go into here. Let's see which ones we've got then. So players, because what this is going to tell me the overall, isn't it? So we get no, that doesn't... Where's this? This is better. So you have one overall, two passing, two defending, two physical, two dribbling. So yeah, defen defensive mid, centre mid, and a centre back would definitely be really good for this, I'd say. So we're looking at... Romero's not a bad shout. Loftus-Cheek isn't awful if you're playing him more of a box-to-box. -box, definitely not a bad shout to get a bit more defending in him. Um, Santos is more of a cam, so the, the defending's far too low anyway. I'd kind of say the same with Bruno. Modric is, is a really good shout for it as well. And, oh, it does make it into green. See, th this is the bit where I'm like, why not make it into a team of the season evolutions there? Like, the, why do we have to go green with this? So I would say, oh, Vasquez is... It said Vasquez couldn't... Oh, no, it, I did say Vasquez could work into it. Bisek, not a bad shout. Hincape... Depending on what they do for the rest of the team of the seasons for Bundesliga, Hingape could be a great shout if you're looking to link a lot of the Leverkusen lads because that's going to happen at some point. Like the the Bayern, uh, Bayern Munich, the Bundesliga is going to be riddled with Leverkusen, so that could be a nice link if you are trying that. So if it was me, what's the buzzer like? Uh, the buzzer like, no, thank you. Defending's far too low. I would say Modric. Romero, Loftus, Bissek. I mean, she's not terrible, but the playstyle pluses for me are just not it. Vasquez, I mean, as a right back, it's never a bad shout as well. Get a bit more defending physical, a little bit more dribbling as well. I don't think the play styles are really going to make that much difference. What well, we get long ball pass and press proven, but they're just normal play styles anyway, so that's fine. Um, Hincape is not a bad shout, and I'd probably miss Sabozalai. I, I mean, you have got a bit of McGinn as well. Never a bad shout. So I would say, out of my kind of voting for this, Romero is not going to be bad, but it would be more pace-orientated, depending on 
if this is the only team of the season upgrade we get for the lives and we get something that doesn't allow these in because if we got a bit of pace on him that's going to be a really good shout i would say to be honest if you obviously modric is going to be the most expensive so that just is what it is it's 3.2 mil so again it's it's one of them and the Oh, yeah, no, they do upgrade, don't they? Note that the lives upgrade. Okay, yeah, perfect. So as you can see there as well, um, boost uh, at the top there. Boost as a live team of the season upgrade. The stats, two new play styles. Note that the live team of the season upgrade will still apply to your evo version. So for instance, say if Modric was to get the double upgrade, he would have this upgrade and another two upgrades on top, meaning he could go to a 97. Like if you can get a Modric from now until Friday, that's going to be a really good card. That could be arguing that, that Bruno could be a little bit better than as well, to be fair. Because if we get him to a 95 now, then he double upgrades as well into a 97. Whether Man U can actually score eight goals in the next four matches. That could be a really nice card going forward. So with that in mind, Loftus-Cheek could go to a 95. That could be really nice. You could get Romero to 95 as well. I mean, th there's a lot of options here. But... My favoured, for the cheaper options, so my most expensive, I think Modric would be my shout personally. I think that that is just a no-brainer for how good the card is in general. Bruno is is the second place in terms of most expensive for it. So I obviously them two, regardless, if you've got them, then they would be who I'd go for. Did you think that just the pricing of everybody else is just not, it wouldn't compare to them personally. Especially if they do get the upgrades as well. When it comes to the cheap players, we're looking at Loftus-Cheek, we're looking at Romero, and I say cheaper with a light word there, it's it's kind of just an extra bit there going on, but I would say Loftus-Cheek is going to be that mid-ground that I'd say is really worth it. Romero, 7, well, 6, 5, well, 6, 7, 5 there, is that it? Oh, 7, 50 then. That's going to be a great card regardless with the upgrade. I think 93, then if you think on top, if Spurs were managing to do the double, you'd have 87 pace, potentially 97, 98 defending, 95 physical. That, again, would be a fantastic centre-back. The only thing that I'm thinking with, especially centre-backs, how quickly does he lose his flair? Like, with Bruno and Modric, they're going to be great until the, the very end, I'd say, at least. Loftus-Cheek definitely is kind of that mid-ground. Um, there's going to be a lot of midfielders that, that definitely take over him in the next couple of weeks, whereas Romero... He could stay up there. He really could. He's got the good play style pluses. And to anticipate slide tackle. Power head is not bad as well. He most definitely could keep himself up in that category. But there is going to be a lot of top end cards. So I personally would go Loftus-Cheek, I'd say, is, is where I'd go for the midfield, to be honest. I think that is a, it's, it's a very good card. And then you've got to think of who is the better chance of getting these upgrades. Is Spurs gonna do it? I don't know. I don't know who they've got, but are they gonna do it? Can they win two out of the next four? Will they get the eight goals? Same as Milan, to be honest. I think with Modric and Bruno, you just go for it anyway and just kind of hope for it. But I would say them two would be kind of my shout. Bissek never a bad shout as well. Is Inter Milan? Where where are they? Fixtures. What we got in terms of table? They're I was gonna say they're top, aren't they? So. They've pretty much won the league. Milan are second, so that puts a really good stint on both of them. Bisek and also Loftus-Cheek then. Who have who has Inter Milan got in their matches? So they've got Torino. Oh, okay. So tomorrow they've got Inter Milan, AC Milan, Inter Milan. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Torino, Sassuoli. I mean, it's not a bad shout. I, I'd definitely be looking at them too. Um, other than that, I, d I just don't know if I'd go for the rest. Incape is not a bad shout, but they are drawing to Dortmund, I believe, at the moment of the recording this video, if they haven't finished already. So that's already one match that is drawn already with no goals, meaning they've got to get eight in the next. They definitely can still do it. You can you can do it in one match at some points, but it'd be very interesting to see. Let's just check if these have changed. No, they're still the same. Suppose I, I just don't think it's worth it, in my opinion. I think the defending is far too low. Plus, you don't get no shooting or anything. In fact, Dortmund's just scored against Leverkusen in the 81st. So, that already puts them one below, in, unfortunately. So, in Gape, maybe not the shout in terms of looking for it. So, I'd say Loftus-Cheek. Modric, Bruno, if you've got them, then that's fair enough in itself. I'm wondering, I'm assuming that the red cards don't actually count as well. Which is a bit annoying, because if you've got them from chance rewards rather than packs... 
I, I think you should still be able to do it. It should be live champs cards as well. I, I don't know. That, that one for me is a little bit annoying. So let me know down below, though, what you're going to do. Uh, there's only a few options that you can go for, but I do think it is most definitely a nice upgrade for free nonetheless. Peace.